Hey guys, how you all doing out there? So in this video, I'll be trying to break down the maxi, maxi, maxi min strategy using a simple example and apply some definitions to understand the cause of this and how it works. Okay, so let's look at the definition straight away and get straight into this. So what is a maxi max strategy? Well, maxi max is simply the strategy which which gives the highest possible return. So you have a set of values. You're just looking at the largest value really. And this is for each different stock and then you pick the highest one of the group that's why it's called maxi max you want to maximize the maximum values or all, all the returns this is also known as the optimistic approach okay so any return any investor would obviously choose the one of the highest return any pair of the highest return also known as the best of the best now inversely we also have something known as the maxi min okay so you notice i highlight the min yellow and this one is known as a pessimistic approach, i.e. the best of the worst. So you select the worst payoff on every case. So you, you set a lower bound, okay? And then you maximize the, 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 the worst payoff. And this is simply, in simple terms, layman terms, the strategy with the smallest possible loss. Okay, so you kind of have um, a lower bound, upper bound in this case. So let's jump into example one, okay, a maxi max. So now suppose uh, you're given a table of stocks and payoff based on the states of the months of, I don't know, the US or UK, okay? And here's our lovely payoff, mat uh, payoff matrix. We've got stocks on the left and the low, middle, high state of the month from 100 to 200, okay? And now here, what do we do? Well, the first thing we do is to try and find the maximum payoff for each stock. So we look at the first row. We've got stock A, okay? We've got 100, 140, and 180. Clearly, the highest value there is 180, so that would be the best. That's what that would be under the best column, so 180. And the repeat for stock B, we've got 130, 145, 170. Again, 170 is the highest. And for stock C, we've got 110, 130, 200. 200 is the highest. And now, under the maxi max, we just want to find the best of the best. So the best tier of the best is going to be 200. And that's it, the maxi max is the best. Okay, so this would be the greatest benefit found for an investor. See, simple enough. Now, let's try and jump into um, the maxi min strategy, the, the pessimistic approach, i.e. the best of the worst. So again, we're using the same um, information. Now, instead of finding the best value, we're going to try and find the, the worst value. So we want to be pessimistic here, okay? So the worst value in each case, we've got 100, 140, it will be 100 for A. The smallest value in stock B is 180, uh, 130. And the smallest value in stock C is 110. Now, because it says maxi min, not mini min, mini min just means the smallest, the worst of the worst, but maxi min means the best of the worst. You want to maximize the worst value. So the, the largest value under the worst case is 130. So there we go. For any investor, you would want to pick 100, you want to pick the payoff stock B at 130. And this is the case where you can expect the smallest possible loss. Okay. So yeah, that's it. We select stock B. And in case I didn't make it clear for the maxi max, we had to select this. The we had to select stock C because it was 200. Okay, and that's it, guys. I um, hope this helped. Uh, let me know if, if this was clear or you need any other further examples. But the idea is, like I said, you find the maximum of the the mag. You just maximize the best one for maxi max, and you maximize the worst for maxi bin. Really simple stuff. But anyways, have a good day and adios, amigos.